welcome back to my channel. Now, the diamond pen you see before you, if you watched the video before this one, you would have saw me unbox this. So I hope you do watch my videos in order, otherwise you'll be like, oh man, I didn't see her unbox that. It's the video right before this one. But I decided to keep this one out because I wanted to share something with you. And I've been hearing a lot of new diamond painters um, have an issue with this. And um, on some of the uh, groups and things I've joined, I've heard people talk about like, how do I use, how do I diamond paint in a small work area, for example, or how do I use the little area that I have? How can I make it the most accommodating for me? Excuse me, it's the camera. Like, what can I do? What are some tips or suggestions? So I want to share with you today um, what I am doing and what I will be doing. Um, and some tips for me. So, first of all, um, this tips, like, like I said, there's other great ladies. They have other great videos that you might want to, um, check out. So, um, but this, the tips that I'm going to give are for people who are limited on space, like I am, and, um, you're working on a diamond painting and you you want to know how you can maximize the space that you have. And also um, someone who's working on a diamond painting, just preferably one at a time. You can actually use this if you're doing two at a time, and I'll show you in a minute. But if you're working on like five, six, seven diamond paintings at a time, no. You probably want to check out some of the other ladies' videos. These are for people who normally do one painting at a time, no more than two. And they're no more than maybe 40 colors a piece at the most. This will work for you. So first off, let me show you my uh, workspace. This is the area that I've designated where I work. So let's just say yours and your home is you have a small little kitchen nook. Like let's say you stay, um, I heard one lady say she stays in efficiency. So she's in a very, very small apartment. Like you're in a small apartment uh, in New York City. Uh, so you, you got a small apartment out there and you have this teeny tiny little kitchen. And this is the area you also use to diamond paint, but you have to eat there. And you're like, wow, how do I use this space for both? I got my diamonds and stuff all over the place, so I'm going to show you now. First of all, I recommend investing in you some kind of a craft mat. Of um, You can get the ones like the cutting mats that the ladies have. This I made, um, this was made um, out of, um, uh, 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 what do they call it? The foam board. And then I just added some shelf liner. You can make yours out of whatever you want. And then I just took the back part. And I just put one of the shelf liners on the back here. And this is to keep it from not, you know, so it doesn't slip or anything. So that's what I use. And you can use what you want. But first of all, I recommend getting one of these. Next, when you work with your diamond painter, you're going to be working on this on your mat. So if you have your small little kitchen table, here's your diamond painting on this. And this one is relatively large. Um, it might be a smaller diamond painting. This one is a 75 by 50 centimeter. So it pretty much covers this whole little uh, mat that I use. But it's, it still works out fine. And also, you want to get your tools. So if you would have watched one of my previous videos, you, you would have saw where I bought this container. You can get them from Dollar Tree or any dollar store. Check them out. All your tools, um, your drill pins, um, your drills and everything is going to be laid out in here. So here you go. You have all your drills laid out. And I recommend putting them in these plastic bags and leaving them in here. Now, if you want to get fancy and get those uh, little Harbor Freight little tools and things, that's fine. But remember, you're limited on space, and this is portable. So what you would do is, as you using, let's say you're working with this drill. Then you're going to take this drill and one of your uh, gym trays, and this is the color you're working on on this diamond painting. And let's say you have family coming and you had to, let me just show you. Let me take this out just to give you an idea. So I'm just going to put some of these drills in here just to show you. So this is the, the, the color you're working with. And you have, um, and you got your pen, um, grab mine. And you're doing your diamond painting and then family's coming and you need to use this kitchen table. Well, everything is already portable. You have it in here, so you just take all your stuff and close this up, but you're like, well, what about the drills I have here? Just take your little bag, take your little baggie, 
You don't even have to take them out of there. You can put them back in the Ziploc bag if you want, or you can take this particular one and just shove it right in here. Don't worry about it getting mixed up and stuff because you can fix that later. And close this right on up. Um, get your pen. Just drop it right on in there. And if you're like, well, I don't know what color that was, and you can write the color on the bag. And just close this up and take your whole thing and move it. See, now you're portable. So this is what I recommend. Um, and all, well, I have a bunch of diamond paintings all over the place. Put those away in storage bins or in the closet. So that way you have more space. And the only diamond painting you should have out is the one you're working on. And let's say you're working on a second one. Like, well, I'm doing two at a time. You want two of these containers and let me show you. For example, Okay, so you have two of these containers and you don't want to get them confused. So let's say this one, this container is for her and I'm just going to call her lady. So then just get you a little piece of paper. And you can either tape this to the top of this or you can put it right in here. So then when you start back and you're like, okay, which one was I working on? Because like you have two of these, you're doing two diamond paintings. You have this one you're working on and you have it on your table and underneath you have your second one that you're working on. So you're like, which one uh, was this one? And then you're like, oh, okay, here it is. And then you pull your stuff right back out after they leave. Remember, you already had your stuff in here. And just pull out what you need and then start back working. So this is just if uh, you need to be portable and you're like, well, I don't want this to get bent up and wh where am I going to put it when I get it off the table? Um, if you saw one of my previous videos, I bought these little clamps. They have magnets on them, so you can put them on your refrigerator too. That'll give you more space and that way you'll know where they are and watch what I'm about to do here. So since this one is almost as big as this, I'm just clamping it, if I can get it, I'm just clamping it down on there and then let's just say you put the other one over here. And I'm just clamping it here. So now you don't have to worry about this coming off of this. You can use another clamp on this side if you want. And then this whole thing, you you're going to take this and move it. You can put it on your bed. You can put it on another table on top of a cabinet somewhere out of reach. If you're worried about like animals or cats or something getting to it or um, your little children. And then, like I said, when family leaves, then you put your stuff back and continue diamond painting. So I hope that's just a tip I want to share with you. I hope that helps you, especially when you're really, really limited on space. Like, ooh, I don't think um, this is going to work for me or um, I have all these colors all over the place. You just have to be more neat and organized with your stuff. Find a designated space, and that's the space that you always use. And like I said, if you're in a situation like me where... The table or the area you're using serves dual purpose. Like, for example, a kitchen table, then you want to be portable. And um, so I hope uh, uh, um, this helps you. And, and if you guys have any other tips or suggestions, by all means, share them down below. I'm not one of those people like, well, you don't need to be saying that on my channel or why is she posting. If you have any tips that will help fellow diamond painters, especially people who are busy and work nine to fives and they're trying to squeeze this into their everyday lives. So it might take you three months to do a diamond painting that somebody else might can finish in three weeks. This channel is dedicated to you. And we're going to work through this together. We're going to get through these diamond paintings. And, you know, so if you have any tips or suggestions, please share them. And if, as I say always, happy crafting to you. And thank you for watching my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.